Hi, my dear friends. In this presentation, we will discuss secondary glaucoma. Glaucoma is a group of irreversible progressive optic neuropathies that can lead to severe visual feet loss and blindness due to optic atrophy. It may be primary or secondary glaucoma. In primary glaucoma, the elevation of the intraocular pressure is not associated with any other ocular disorder. While in secondary glaucoma, ocular or non-ocular disorder usually affects the equus outflow, which in turn will result in elevation of the intraocular pressure. Secondary glaucoma. The classification of secondary glaucoma classify secondary glaucoma into two types: secondary angle closure and secondary open angle glaucoma. Secondary angle closure glaucoma is classified into two types: with bevelia block and without bevelia block. With bevelia block, many causes are found to cause it like meiotic induced uh, swollen lens induced glaucoma as in case of phacomorphic glaucoma mobile lens induced glaucoma as in case of ectopia lentis and microsclerophakia and bustiosanike without bevelia block there are two mechanisms that causes second angiogenic glaucoma without bevelia block the first of them anterior body mechanism and the second is posterior body mechanism anterior body mechanism it occurs by pulling the eyes followed by contraction of a membrane, as in cases of late neovascular glaucoma and by inflammatory membrane. While posterior pushing mechanism occurs by pushing the eyes followed by a condition in the posterior segment, like malignant glaucoma and intraocular tumor. Secondly, open angle glaucoma. It is subdivided on the basis of the site of equus out of low structure into three categories: pre-trabecular glaucoma, in which substruction before the trabecular meshwork. Trabecular category in which the obstruction occurs in the booth of the trabecular meshwork. And lastly, post trabecular in which the obstruction after the trabecular meshwork, mainly as the venous drainage of equus. Pre-trabecular glaucoma. The equus out of flow here in this time is obstructed by a membrane covering the trabecular meshwork. It may be fibrovascular membrane as in cases of neurovascular glaucoma like here we can see the vessels in the iris and also it will be present in the uh, angle by uh, which can be seen by donors and here endothelial cells as in cases of iridocorneal corneal endothelial syndrome in the trabecular type in which the obstruction occurs at the level of the uh, trabecular meshwork it can cause by uh, clogging up of the trabecular meshwork by different causes like pigment particles as in cases of pigmented glaucoma Red blood cells, as in cases of hyphema, like this uh, photo, degenerated red blood cells, which is called ghost cell glaucoma, and microphages and lens protein, as in cases of faculty glaucoma, and by proteins, as in cases of uveitis, which associate with increase in the intraocular pressure, and in by silicosylating material and cases of silicosylating glaucoma. Uh, the second core mechanism by which the ocular mature is obstructed is by alternation in the Trabecular fiber cells by edema, as in cases of hyperzostal iritis, or by scarring the like post traumatic uh, angle recession glaucoma. Post trabecular glaucoma here, the equus outflow is built as a result of elevated episcleral venous pressure, which means that the obstruction occurs at the level uh, of venous drainage of the equus after the trabecular meshwork, like carotid cavernous fistula and obstruction of the severe vena cava. This photo of a man with right coated cavernous fistula. Important types of secondary glaucoma. Pseudoxophilative glaucoma, in which pseudoxophilation syndrome characterized by the position of grayish white fibrogranular material in the anterior lens capsule, in the zinules, in the serial body, in the iris, trabecular mesure, and you with the source face and lastly and in the conjunctiva like this photo we can notice the presence of the pseudoxphilic material in the pupil margin and on the anterior lens capsule. Pseudoxphilic glaucoma occurs when the trabecular meshwork is blocked by the pseudoxphilic material. 
Pseudoxivulation, glaucoma, clinically can be diagnosed by examining the cornea. We can notice the structural material in the posterior surface of the cornea. In the second place, at the iris, we can notice that there is iris atrophy with the presence of the structural material, especially at the pupil margin. In the lens, when we examine it, we can see the pseudoxivulation material forming a central disc corresponding to the pupil when it is meiotic and peripheral band which uh, can, we can notice it when the pupil is dilated also it can be associated with cataract and the lens subluxation due to weak zenules lastly by gonioscopy we can see trabecular hyperpigmentation and pseudoxivulative material treatment here of pseudoxivulative glaucoma as the treatment of primary open angle glaucoma New vascular glaucoma. The main pathology of new vascular glaucoma is the retinal ischemia, which lead to production of vasoproliferative growth factor (VGF), leading to retinal new vessel formation, which is called retinal new vascularization, and uh, new vessels formation at the iris, which is called rubulosus iridus, and new vascularization at the angle of the anterior chamber. The causes of retinal ischemia include ischemic central retinal vein and central retinal artery occlusion, like this and benefit of diabetic retinopathy, especially when new vessels is formed and uh, in cases of old retinal detachment with uh, long-standing retinal ischemia and lastly by intraocular tumors here we can notice old retinal detachment with the pigmentation mark and here we can notice intraocular tumor choroidal melanoma new vascular glaucoma is of three stages. The first stage is new vessels as iris, which is called reduces iridus. Here, uh, the vessels only new vessels only present in the iris. The treatment here is by eye laser photocoagulation of the ischemic retina to decrease the new vessel formation. The second stage uh, of new vascular glaucoma is secondary open angle glaucoma due to new vascular membrane in the front of the trabeculum. Here, we can treat glaucoma by anti glaucoma steroid and midriatic like atrophy uh, and we should uh, do eye laser photocoagulation of the ischemic retina to decrease the production of VEGF and new vessel formation. The third stage which is the last stage is secondary and microgial glaucoma due to contraction of these new vascular membrane. Here is the treatment mainly by eye laser photocoagulation of the ischemic retina, surgery by uh, trabeculectomy with the adjuvant uh, mitomycin C or uh, using artificial chunk like valve and lastly by cyclocryo destruction especially in blind painful eye by destruction of the cerebral processes by uh, diode laser in this photo we can notice the presence of new vessels at the pupillary margin and here the uh, marks of uh, algal laser photocoagulation lens induced glaucoma Lens induced glaucoma includes three forms. Faculated glaucoma. Where faculated glaucoma occurs in high mature cataract in which the lens is degenerated. Here, the lens protein leaks through the intact capsule and causes blocking of the trabeculum with protein and macrophages which filled with the lens material. Clinically, it characterized by coronary edema due to high interocular pressure, deep anterior chamber with floating white particles, which is called pseudohypobian. These white particles mainly formed of this uh, lens material and by gonioscopy we can found open angle. Treatment here by controlling the intraocular pressure medically and then we should do cataract surgery. The second uh, form of lens induced glaucoma, phaco anaphylactic glaucoma. Here it is caused by rupture of the lens capsule due to trauma or surgery. This uh, lens material uh, will lead to severe autoimmune reaction to lens proteins leading to uveitis and secondary uh, elevation of the intraocular pressure, like here and like here. We can see in this photo the presence of lens material in the anterior chamber and here this uh, open the lens uh, capsule and this inflammatory reaction in the form of KBs and uveitis. Facomorphic glaucoma, which is the third form of lens induced glaucoma, in which the lens is intromissant leading to propeller block iris bombay and angle closure like here and like there we can notice that there is shallow and two chamber the treatment mainly by controlling the intraocular pressure medically and doing cataract surgery thank you very much and i hope you enjoy my presentation thank you